An Irish airman foresees his death by W. B. Yeats. Who is the speaker in the poem? An Irish airman foresees his death. An Irishman. What does the airman know? He knows that his death is certain. Where does the airman think he will die? In the midst of the clouds. What is the speaker's attitude towards those whom he fights against? He does not hate them. What is the speaker's attitude towards those whom he fights for? He does not love them. Who is the speaker guarding? The British. Whom does the speaker refer to by the phrase public men, the political leaders? What is the speaker's attitude towards war? He is indifferent to it. What is the speaker's attitude towards his death? Passive acceptance with neither regret nor pain. What fate is the pilot talking about? The inevitable death. What does the Irish airman think about the end of war would do to his people? He knows that the end of war does not change the lives of the people of Kiltorton Cross. What does the airman think about life. He thinks that it is dull and empty. Why did the Irishman become a pilot for the thrill of adventure? A brief summary. The poem An Irish Airman Foresees His Death expresses an Irish airman's anticipation of his own death. He says that he is fated to die somewhere in the midst of the clouds. He is not fighting for the sake of his own country. He is defending the United Kingdom. W.B. Yeats uses the pilot to express his discontent with the First World War. The Irishman says that he does not hate those he is fighting and he makes it clear that he does not love those whom he is defending. He belongs to a small village called Kiltorton Cross. He knows that the result of war would in no way affect the lives of his village people. He became a pilot due to his love for a life of adventure. He is not fighting under any sense of duty or a sense of law. He has not risked his life for the admiration of the people. He became a pilot to escape from the dullness and emptiness of his life. He believes that the purposeless life could be balanced only by death in war.